okay transport in the plants is the heading for us if a person takes if a person takes uh so if he, if he gets heart attacks a person gets heart attack in the person when he gets heart attack he dies that everyone know if a person gets heart attacks he dies the very first important question there is if he gets heart attack why he dies what makes him to die the simplest answer there is in his body materials are moving okay oxygen is moving food is moving water is moving when the heart stops this movement of blood is stopping okay oxygen is not going to the organs food is not going to the organs so the organs die because the organs die person dies so within the body transportation moving of materials from one place to another place taking place are you clear yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. right so yes sir a similar idea a similar idea you can see in the plants too let the other finish up give me one right so in the plants in the plants materials are moving like materials are moving in our body in the plant body also materials are moving okay for simple example if you take human body our brain requires oxygen gas for its survival our brain requires oxygen gas for its survival if our brain doesn't get oxygen for 3 minutes our brain will die after brain death can we live no way so the one question there is okay we will agree we agree oxygen is important for the uh, brain oxygen is important for the brain because it doesn't get the oxygen for 3 minutes it's it's dying question here is why oxygen is needed for brain am i right the question coming to the mind is okay we agree oxygen is needed that's why if you don't give oxygen for 3 minutes brain dies the opposite question there is why the brain dies why the brain dies okay so the answer coming to this point is right in the brain okay there are certain certain mean lots of 
biological processes taking place they are chemical reaction for those chemical reactions to take place oxygen is needed if oxygen is not supplied those chemical changes will not take place if those chemical changes are not taking place if the biological processes are not taking place brain will die if brain dies automatically the person dies okay that is one thing you want to know about the transport another thing for in our body in our body several materials are produced every day okay for simple example in your skin in your heart in your muscles in your bones there is a chemical called urea produced urea although produced in all over the body excreted out through the kidney the urine the urine okay the urine is containing urea the urine the urine contains urea that's why it's called urine the urine contains urea so the urea made in our body from all the parts have to go to the kidney so inside our body there is a transport taking place taking all these urea to the kidney kidney remove it out of the body in the name called urine so the point here is what is transportation what is happening in transportation okay your book says this definition is relevant to plants i explained to you using animals because we are an animal we know about animal not about plants okay because we know about animals and we don't know about plants we are explaining all these ones with respect to with respect to animals and now connecting it to the plants plants taking the raw materials for different biological processes remember for plants water is a raw material they get it from the root now think that way plants get water through whom last class i told you plants get water through whom plants get water through, through rain water yeah. through which root organ root hairs root, root hairs that means root the root hairs. organ root, root hairs correct or not yes sir yes sir right now the water is in the root yes so no yes yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. so we are do the photosynthesis taking place the leaves in the leaves leaves, leaves. Do you agree leaves, sir water is a raw yes, material sir. for photosynthesis yes sir yes sir yes sir water yes, sir. is a raw material for photosynthesis yes sir yes, yes. Sir. so yes. do you agree root the water in the root has to go to the leaves Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. That means, yes, sir. That, means yes, sir. that means the water in the root should be transported to the leaves. Agree? Yes sir. The water yes sir. Yes sir. Root should be transported to the leaves. Agree? Agree sir. Uh, agree sir. So that is 
transportation of raw materials understood yes sir similarly yes sir leaves are making food roots need the food the food made in the leaf needs to come down to the root yes or no yes sir Yes, yes sir. sir. Also, transport is needed or not? Needed, sir. Needed, sir. Needed, sir. Right. So, in your syllabus, three transportation examples are mentioned to you. Transportation of atmospheric air through the stomata to the cells of the leaf. Okay. transportation of atmospheric air through the stomata now see this is going to be the stomata this is going to be the stomata here this hole is called by the name stomata if you take the stomata through the stomata what is traveling air yeah. air yeah. yeah. is traveling yeah. inside 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 there are leaf cells present what is present cells. leaf cells, cells are present. so these leaf cells okay these leaf cells get what is reaching the leaf cell air what is reaching the leaf cell air air right air. leaf cell will get the oxygen do you know the formula for oxygen yes yes sir do you know the formula for oxygen Yes, sir. Yes. Or, what is the formula for oxygen? O two. O two. O two. O two. O two. O two. N carbon dioxide. What is this? O two. O two. This is the idea explained to you by the first example. Understood? Yes, Understood, sir. sir. Understood. understood sir understood Second yes one. sir transportation of water and minerals from soil to the leaf through root hairs now see here i am not last week i drew some pictures this week i am not drawing the same one i am using some different things this is root hair this time i am drawing a large root hair okay now from the soil from the soil water and, and minerals 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 here minerals go into the what is it root hair root, root hair. hairs from the root hair water and minerals go to the center of root where they go center of the root center, center of, of the, the root. root from the center of the root okay through the stem through the stem this mineral then water reach the reach the leaf leaf, leaf. are you clear with this Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. So, this is the explanation for the second one. 
ओके फ्रॉम द सोइल प्लांट इज टेकिंग वॉटर एंड मिनरल्स थ्रू द रूट हेयर दैट वॉटर एंड मिनरल्स आर गोइंग टू द सेंटर ऑफ रूट फ्रॉम द सेंटर ऑफ रूट इट गोस टू द स्टेम स्टेम फ्रॉम द स्टेम इट गोस टू द लीफ व्हाट अबाउट द थर्ड वन so transportation of food produced by photosynthesis from leaves to the other parts of the plant in the leaf in the leaf say this is the leaf in the leaf what is produced food is food food, food is produced food is in the leaf agree agree sir yes. from the leaf it is going to the stem from the leaf it is going to the or the stem 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 Through stem. stem it is going to the root understood yes sir right Through the stem, it will go to the fruit. Through the stem, it will go to the bud. Through the stem, it will go to the flower. Not only to the root. That's why they see other parts. Are you clear? clear sir yes right. clear sir now in a white sheet in a white sheet you get this one first transportation of atmospheric air through the stomata to the cells of the leaf write that one and draw this diagram complete and tell can you share the topic again complete and tell me topics are here topics are here these three things are going to be the topic first topic second topic third topic
से ढेर ओके कंप्लीटेड कंप्लीटेड नो सर हां नो सर नो सर you are working on all three yes sir ah uh, then okay yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Hmm. so done done sir done sir so give me a few minutes done sir sir okay, okay. give me a few minutes sir, okay okay you you go ahead you go ahead that is general
Tell me quickly after completing. Eh? Completed. Completed. Finished, sir. Okay, right. So. Done, sir. Right. So, all these ones are telling us that transport is, they are in the plants. Am I right? Transport is, they are yes, in sir. the plants. That's what I, what you got to know from this. Correct or not? Correct, sir. Correct. Yes, sir. Now, in the transporting plants, there are many methods. There are many methods there. Okay? There are around six methods there. In the six methods, you children, your small ones know, because of that, you children are explained with how many methods? How many Three methods? methods. Three Three method. Only two methods. Three methods. Two. Only how many methods there? Two methods. Two, two methods. methods are there for your syllabus. Right? One method is diffusion. Other method is osmosis. Okay? In the beginning, we are going to speak about diffusion. In diffusion, in diffusion, now see, here, there are particles. Here they are uh, particles. Right? When there are lots of particles there, it is a place called high concentration. It is a place called high concentration. In Excuse this, me, sir. Yeah. Uh, sir, your video is a little bit uh, like not clear, sir. Is it so for everyone? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's clear. Sir, it's not focusing the board. No, it will focus on the board. Anyway, I will try to do one thing. You see whether it is giving you the support. Eh? Okay, sir. I will try to do an adjustment to my window. If that is giving you a clarity, then okay. Hmm? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Is it now okay? Yes, sir. Okay, okay sir. Hmm? Okay, sir. Right. So, this is a high concentration place. This is a why it is high concentration of so particles are there? That place is called, what is it? High, high concentration. 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 This is place B. Okay. A similar area. A similar area. But particles are. Particles are. Ah, only that much. Yes. Now, yes. what kind of yes. concentration? Low yes. concentration. Low concentration. Low concentration. When these types of two areas are there, 
the particles will move from high concentration to low, low concentration. concentration this movement is called diffusion are you clear Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. So yes, from a sir. place yes, where there is high concentration to to a place where there is low concentration, particles are moving. That movement is called by the name diffusion. 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 Are you clear? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, yes, sir. You read this sentence. Is it okay? Is it explaining you the diffusion? Yes, sir. Yes, right. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I understood, yes, but not in much this, as you. In this place, in this place, you mark this one. So underneath, Amputa. Underneath that, no. This face is not enough. No. Yes, sir. You can use this space there. No. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Hmm. Right. Completed, completed, sir. Good. So, completed, sir. So, in the page number seven, in the page number seven, you are written some examples in plants for diffusion. Some examples in plants for diffusion. What is the first example? Diffusion, diffusion. of carbon, carbon dioxide. Dioxide from atmosphere. From atmosphere. To the plant leaves. Plant tomato. 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 Second, diffusion of oxygen through the stomata, stomata from atmosphere to the leaves, leaves for, respiration. for respiration. Third one, oxygen. oxygen, a product of photosynthesis, diffusing out of stomata to the atmosphere. The fourth one, the products of respiration, carbon dioxide and water vapor diffusing from 
Atmosphere. to the what is it? Atmosphere. Atmosphere. So these are the uh, examples given to you. Do you want to clarify any one of them? Do you want to clarify any one of them? Uh, mm. Okay, sir. Do you want okay. to clarify any one of them? No, sir. No, sir. All four points are clear for you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. The fourth one. The fourth one. Right. Fourth one means I will take everything together. Now, here, this is the what is this? Tomata. What is this? Tomato. Tomato. One diffusion they tell here for oxygen. Correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is oxygen from atmosphere. This is oxygen from atmosphere going into the leaf. For what purpose? For what purpose? For respiration. For respiration. Am I right? Yes. Another gas is going into the leaf by diffusion is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. That is going for what purpose? For photo photosynthesis. Am I right? Yes, yes, sir. So, the first point is telling about the ingoing of the carbon dioxide. Second one is telling about the ingoing of whom? Oxygen. 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 Yes. Oxygen. Third one is telling you. Third one is telling you. Okay. Water vapor. Water vapor. Now, third one. Third one tells you from inside to outside is coming out. To outside. Who is coming out? Oxygen. Oxygen, from oxygen, oxygen. is coming out. In which process this oxygen was produced? Photosynthesis. Right. So, so if you take photosynthesis only, you can we tell this way. Carbon dioxide is diffusing inside. Oxygen is diffusing oxygen outside. Is Am I right? Outside. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you take photosynthesis only, carbon dioxide is diffusing inside. Oxygen is diffusing outside. Correct? Correct, sir. Right. Yes, similarly, yes, sir. similarly, another diffusion is happening. Another diffusion is happening. That is also inside to outside. Outside. In that case, these things are coming. 
carbon carbon dioxide photosynthesis dioxide carbon photosynthesis dioxide is it only carbon dioxide mentioned to you what no. water, water vapor water vapor water vapor these two are made in respiration these two are made in what is it respiration respiration so if you take only respiration if you take only respiration okay what are the processes working here carbon carbon dioxide only re respiration only respiration if you consider oxygen carbon dioxide inside inside carbon dioxide and water water we are diffusing outside outside, outside. are you clear yes sir yes sir right so this is the all four things mentioned to you there photosynthesis carbon dioxide diffusing inside respiration oxygen is diffusing inside photosynthesis oxygen is diffusing outside respiration carbon dioxide and water vapor are diffusing outside diffusing outside are you clear yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. okay in the white sheet you mark this one what it is diffusion in what is it plant plant use color pencil and neatly draw it okay sir the da Done, sir. Done. Now all of you are clear yes. regarding it. Done, sir. 
No, sir, give me a few minutes, okay, okay, sir. Okay, 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 okay. Done, sir. Done. Everyone done? Yes, sir. Everyone done? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. sir. yes, sir. Right. Next it is, what is the heading for you? Experiment to show diffusion. Experiment to show diffusion. Have I sent you a color picture? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. No, sir. Okay. No, sir. Inshallah, with the next, with the next tute, I will send you that color picture. Okay. With the next tute, I will send that color picture to you. No need to worry. Noted, sir. Uh, I will now display that particular color picture. At the moment, you can use your textbook also. What the for the, for the picture in the textbook also for that purpose. All right? We'll go for a video also on it. Okay, sir. So it's a simple experiment. Okay, sir. Wait a minute. Okay, sir. So really, I allocated a space to paste that color picture, but unfortunately, I couldn't send you the one. Mm, yeah. This is the picture coming there. Okay. In this picture, my children, the color is very, very important. The color is very, very important. Right? It is the one we are going to work in detail. Okay? So, through this one, we are going to show, through this one, we are going to show uh, diffusion is taking place. Understood? Yes, Understood? sir. Good. So, yes, in this experiment, let us uh, try the video part of this experiment. Until the video gets loaded, uh, yeah, in the video, you will see the condis. <coughs> That's what I want. Hmm? I, my condis chemical is in Akurana. It got sucked in Akurana with this corona problem. Right. If you shun on this experiment.
Right. It's a simple experiment. Let's have a look on it. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. Mama, this is you know, video for Amma and Sutton. This is Amma and Sutton. So, she is taking the Condis crystals. You see the one. What is the color? What is the color of Condis crystals? Purple. 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 You see the one. What is the color? Is it looking purple to you? Hmm? Yes. Brown. Wait, wait, wait. In my data, I can't directly go for that. Uh, this is the color of Condix. Brown color. Wait, wait. Dark color. Wait, wait. This is what I want you to see. You see that one. Wait a minute. This is potassium permanganate. Crystal foam. Condis foam. Okay. It was, what is the name of it? What is the name of it? My children, it was, it is given this name because, a per, okay, by the name of a, a person called Condis. It is called Condis Crystals. It is a grayish purple color material looking like black also, but really it, it is looking like a, a, a gray color material. Its scientific name it is potassium permanganate. Understood? Are you clear? Yes, sir. Right. My first question yes, to you yes, is, sir. my first question to you is, what is the color of Condis solid? Uh, Greyish purple color. Greyish purple. purple. Okay. 
grayish purple you see gray color that is enough you don't need to go very deep there you see gray color okay sir second okay, question sir. is okay. what is the scientific name of condis potassium permanganate Done. Done, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. right. My third question there is asking the color when the potassium permanganate dissolves in water. When potassium permanganate purple color in water, purple. it will give you this color. It's a beautiful pinkish purple. What is the original color of it? Is it looking like pink? Pink, 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 pink purple. Is it looking like pink? Yes. Yes, sir. Is it looking like purple? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it is called pinkish purple. Okay, question number three is answered. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Now let's come to the diffusion experiment based on Condis crystals. Okay, based on Condis crystals. Okay, sir. Let's come to this experiment. I think this will be a little good than the previous one. We take some water and see what they do. Normal water, no need to worry. What is it? Potassium Now you can see that purple color is coming up. Can you see the purple color is coming up? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Coming up. Coming up. It will do very quickly. It will do very quickly. Right? Right. And no need to stir. We in our experiment we don't we don't do the stirring. Understood? Understood, sir. Right. Yes, sir. So you children are asked certain questions here. Question number four. What is meant by concentration? What is meant by that's it. Now they are using that word no concentration. 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 So I am asking a question at you. What is meant by concentration? Concentration means you write it down. I will write it here. Okay. Now. 
number of particles present in unit volume number of particles present in unit volume Ah, ah. Oh. Okay, sir. Right. Right. Now, what is meant by high concentration? Number of mm. particles in present in unit volume. Okay, being high. Being high. number of particles present in unit volume being so being being high yes or no that's why high concentration yes then what do you mean by low concentration number of part ah number of particles number of particles present in unit volume being low being what is it low low right question number 7 state whether in the bottom of the beaker or in the top of the beaker condis is in high concentration that depends on the darkness bottom of the in the bottom of the beaker in the bottom of the beaker answer state Okay. Sir, what is the answer for the seventh question? Are you clear? Yes, sir. Where is high concentration in the place where there is more darkness? Am I right? Right. Yes, sir. What is the so turn the page? What is the reason for your decision? Why do you say there is more concentration? because at the bottom more, okay more darkness can be observed am i right so can you say it again you tell me why what what i told you don't try to speak it so you have to tell, get the idea and write what 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 the idea i told you why it is the bottom is more concentration how do you say the bottom is more concentration because in the in the bottom of the beaker the bottom, more darkness is observed so you can say you simply say because because bottom of the beaker okay appears darker am i right bottom of the beaker appears darker done sir question done, number sir. 9 question number 9 you have to do a small correction state whether in the bottom of the beaker or in the top of the beaker condis is in low concentration high should be converted to the word low Okay, sir. Right now, tell me the answer. Top of the beaker. Top, Top of, of the, the beaker. beaker. Okay. 
Okay. So why do you say there it is low concentration? Because top is top of the beaker. Top of the beaker appears. What is the opposite word for darker? Lighter. Lighter. Okay. Okay, sir. Right. Yes, Question sir. number nine uh, is over now. Okay. Uh, nine is the question now. Nine name Question change, right? Number is wrong. No, question number is wrong. Right. What type of movement is shown by particles? You use the word by there, eh? What type of movement is shown by particles when they are move when they move during diffusion? I will come to that. Okay. Now a set of children a set of children are going in a march pass march pass there will be a orderly movement there am i right yes, yes sir, sir. Yes, there will be an orderly movement there. If the movement is orderly, it is called regular movement. Right? Children coming out of school gate after school is over, what type of movement they show? Is it a regular movement? No, sir. Irregular. No, sir. Just, just yeah, right. go here and there, right? Yes, sir. That yes, kind sir. of movement is called random movement. Understood? That kind of movement is called by the name. Yes, that kind random of movement is called moment. by the name. Random, random, random moment. moment. The in diffusion, particles are showing random movement. Random. They move here and there. Even in that experiment, you can see the color is not coming in in one way, right? Just moving, blurring light. Am I right? Yes, sir. So yes, sir. It's not coming in a pattern. So regular mean going this way, this way. No, that is not there. Some little go that side, some this, some little go this side, this go. So every every side is moving little, little, little. You can't see which side it is moving properly. So that is what kind of movement? Random movement. Random. random. How do you how do you spell random? R A N D O M. R A N D O M. So answer the question number next question. Question number is wrong. So answer next question. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Next question it is from which region to which region? Particles move during diffusion. From which region? Region with high concentration. To
low concentration region with low concentration tenth one tenth mean that ten ten is repeating two times now okay no sir yes sir okay sir from region with high concentration to region with low concentration low concentration, low concentration. question number 11 11 is only one time no correct so i can call yes, it sir. through which components particles can diffuse the idea there is now say this is water molecule just you don't need to draw anything this is water molecule okay these are home water molecules molecules here molecules you have the here you have the potassium permanganate or condis particles yes sir now these condis particles are moving in this manner to the other region understood 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 sir can you understood sir understood understood sir so when they are doing so here these spaces are needed understood inter molecular space is there through that space only they are moving that you understood yes sir Yes, sir. So yes, these sir. ones are diffusing using the spaces here. So inside water, between the molecules, what is present in the water between the molecules? What is present? Intermolecule. Intermolecule. Intermolecule spaces are present. if the intermolecular spaces are not present can diffusion take place no, no sir. sir no sir are you clear yes, yes sir. sir so my 11th yes. question is through which components particles can diffuse what is your answer Particles diffuse through intermolecular spaces. Intermolecular spaces. Answer it. Okay, sir. Done, sir. Done, sir. Done, sir. Next it is. What is the volatile material? Okay, this is a new word for you. Volatile material. If something can evaporate. now i take some here yodi colon i take some yodi colon and put it here looking like wet how long it will stay wet you think uh, until it evaporates for some time for a little time it evaporates 2 minutes or 3 minutes or 5 okay. minutes it will stay wet then gradually it's uh, it will become dry am i right yes sir that kind yes, of sir. materials are called volatile material perfume perfume is a volatile material okay if you now say you have applied a perfume you have applied a perfume and sit in a place someone little staying 10 feet or 12 feet away from you he can feel the smell some 
perfume smell is there. Do you have that experience? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Some, people put, some people put attar. The attar smell is going to the nose of that person. He doesn't want to come and see. Ah, you have to put attar. It's not there, no. It is not there. Okay. It is spreading through the air. That is also diffusion. Understood? Spread of the smell of spread of the smell of perfume. Diffusion. Spread of the smell of a, some animal have di has died. Its smell is coming. Diffusion. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, volatile material means what it can do? It can quickly evaporate. It can quickly evaporate. Now, if I, if I put some water here, if I put some water in my cloth, will it evaporate sooner? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. Eh? yes, sir. No, sir. Will it evaporate no, sir. sooner? No. No, sir. No, sir. It will take a long time. It will evaporate, Baba. It will evaporate. I am not telling it's not evaporating. I am asking, will it evaporate sooner? No, sir. No, no sir. sir. No, no, it will take no, a long sir. time. Then it is not volatile. Understood? Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. So, what is the volatile material? Materials that quickly. That quickly. Ah. Materials that can get insulated. Materials that quickly evaporate. Evaporate. Okay. Right. So mark it down. Materials. Done, Materials that quickly evaporate. Evaporate. That is called by the name. What is it? Volatile. 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 So volatile one will easily uh, evaporate and move through the air. Am I right? Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. So my next question is, yes, write sir. three examples, write three examples for volatile material that can evaporate. Yes. Uh, One yes, example yes. and the most easy example. Body clothes, okay. One example and the easy example is the perfume. Am I right? Yes, sir. So, first example yes, is perfume. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Second one. Right. Second example, I am taking the example <coughs> from this. Now see, you are taking an orange peel, the skin of the orange and pressing it. <coughs> then there's a liquid like thing is coming. Am I right? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. It, it's, yes, sir. Its smell will easily spread. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. that is the extract of orange skin. Okay? Extract of <coughs> Okay, sir. Right. Another okay, thing it is, 
another thing it is uh, <coughs> have you seen this air freshness yes yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. air freshness in solid form yes, yes sir right yes, sir. so yes, sir. solid yes, sir. air freshness are also example for what volatile materials volatile. You, you keep the air freshener in one corner of the room but the smell is coming in in the entire room am i right yes sir uh, yes sir it's possible because it is a volatile because of diffusion Okay. Sir. Okay. Right. So, okay, sir. Next it is right two example to show the particles can mm -hmm. diffuse through gases. Mm -hmm. The one it is spread of spread of perfume smell through air. Correct. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. Spread of, spread of, okay. Smell of just sticks, just sticks through air. Sandana kuchhi, just sticks. Handun kuru, you know handun kuru. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. when you burn and keep it smell is spreading am i right sir yes sir yes sir good so actually any one of these ones can be question for you that's why i am working in all these areas Okay, sir. So. Right. So with okay, that page sir. number eight, with that page number eight, diffusion story is over. Okay. Understood. Okay, sir. So. Understood. Uh, yes, sir. In the next class, we are going to start the osmosis lesson. Okay. We'll meet, Shal. Hmm. Thank you, sir. 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 Bye, 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 sir. Have a good day. Bye, sir. Bye. Huh? Good night, sir. Good night.